Okay, we needed Paris Defending Education President and Founder Nicole Neely to come back on to deal with this story. What is going on in Loudoun County, Virginia Public Schools? It's ground zero of the school board parent fight, and now parents accuse a teacher, a teacher of multiple sex assaults on students. They again allege the school district is covering up. What's happening? It's a mess, and it's tragic that this is taking place yet again And as you said, a school district that is ground zero for so many problems. So with Loudoun, it sounds like there has been a teacher that has been accused of, for all intents and purposes, grooming students. And the teacher was rubbing students' backs, the families had made complaints, and the district basically dragged its feet and didn't really act on it um, over the objections of families. And all so, of them again, need to be another, fired. Yeah. Guess what? Everybody needs to step down on that board. They've already failed parents, they've failed families and students. They need to be fired. It allegedly involves Stonebridge High School again. Nicole, that's the location of the sexual assault by a male student who was then transferred out and then sexually assaulted another student. Yeah, you'd think that they would be a little bit more vigilant about these issues, but sadly, it seems not. Um, and what we hear from families is that schools are taking um, things like microaggressions more seriously than actual assaults, which is horrifying, because when you send your child to school, you assume that they'll be safe. Right, so they strain at gnats and swallow camels, like the, the book of Matthew said. Mm -hmm. You know, so this story, Balt let's move on to Baltimore, because this is shocking too, Nicole. Baltimore parents are now outraged. They're speaking out against Baltimore's public school system after it was revealed, look at this, a big, big one out of seven, one out of seven public high school and elementary schools had no students, zero, no student proficient in math. That's 2,000 students in total. None of them can do math at their grade levels. It's horrifying. We have robbed these children of their futures. And so where are the equity warriors now who have been screaming from the rooftops that, you know, we need more programming for social emotional learning and, and equity initiatives? These children will not be able to support themselves if they are not able to perform bas basic tasks. That to me is the most inequitable thing of all. So there are 20, also another separate, 20 public schools. Just only one or two students test proficient in math. The school superintendent makes $400,000 a year in Baltimore for what? It's a good question. And sadly, this is not restricted just to Baltimore. Um, Illinois data actually came out today showing that there are 53 schools across the state of Illinois, where again, zero students are performing math, uh, can have math proficiency at grade level. 30 schools where students cannot read at grade level. So this is, we're robbing children of their future. And this is to the detriment of our, na of our nation's uh, economy. Well, we're, a, it's a leading edge. Of, it is a true problem. Nicole, we'll have you back on. We're gonna stay on the story.